In 2008, over 1.2 million Los Angeles citizens lost internet entirely. Or that's what they thought. It was all because of a crashed Time Warner, cap Time Warner DNS computer. D a DNS is a domain name system. OpenDNS, and the few people who were using OpenDNS were surfing the web while their neighbors in Los Angeles during that, in that 2008 crash, while their neighbors were sitting there bored. Because it was really only the DNS that was crashed. The internet was still on. If they were using OpenDNS, which is an alternative DNS provider, they would have still been able to connect. Unlike other DNS services, like the one you probably are using right now, unless you have OpenDNS, if a, if a page temporarily goes down for service, like, say, YouTube's down so that they can make it better, then you won't be able to go to YouTube. But OpenDNS caches every page in the internet, which means that you can simply just, you can still go on it when people without OpenDNS will be sitting there waiting for YouTube to go back up and probably being bored. Another benefit of OpenDNS is that it is much faster uh, getting to websites because it caches every website. Here are some examples. In this test done by Google's NameBench program, OpenDNS is 59% faster than our default. In the next example, it says that SprintLink is 81.7% faster. But if you go back to that last example, SprintLink is not on the list, which is what we're viewing right now. And even if SprintLink is 81.7% faster, it's st still OpenDNS is 75.2% 72, 72, faster in this test. In our last test, OpenDNS was faster by 100.6%, and SprintLink was way behind at 47.8%. Once you've made your account on OpenDNS, you can go into the dashboard and select shortcuts. Shortcuts is a nice feature where you can enter a name of so where you can enter the name of something. For example, we're using Yahoo, and then the URL that you want it to lead to. So, Yahoo.com. Then you can just press Create Shortcut. Wait a second, and then in the URL bar, all you need to do is type in the shortcut. So. All you need to do is type in Yahoo, press enter, and it brings you right to yahoo.com because that's you entered. Making an account in OpenDNS is simple. All you have to do is go to C Plans and Pricing, sign up in Basic, in the Basic box, then it'll ask you to sign in or create an account. We're already signed in, so we are just going to go to Computer. Then you click Computer. Then you go to your select your operating system. It does Unix and Linux, and it also does mobile phones and Wii. So we're going to go to Windows 7 because that's what we're running, as you can see. And what you're going to do is you're going to say the ins it's going to say the instructions, and you want to follow them very carefully, because if you miss anything, it will it won't work. You even have to follow the um, the way you want to exit everything. It says that. Now, we're gonna, when you're done, you go to the bottom and click Next, Test Your New Settings. Then, if, you, if it works, it'll say Success, you're now using OpenDNS. If it doesn't, then it'll say, Oops, OpenDNS is not being used on this computer. And then it'll ask you to go back and read the directions again. That's about it. So, thanks for watching this video, and goodbye.